Hey everyone, welcome back to Trailbreaker. This is my trusty Trek Fuel EX, and I think it is almost the perfect trail bike. One of the things I loved about it was it's got the minnow link, which allows you to adjust the geometry by about a half a degree on the head tube angle, and it also will lower or raise the bottom bracket by about five millimeters. In the very beginning, I tried running it in low because everyone wants a slack bike, but it was a pedal strike nightmare. So I had to put it in the high position where it's been ever since. Now, I went ahead and changed the travel in the fork from 130 to 150, which did slack it out a little bit, and it raised the bottom bracket just a tad. But it still is a mess. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and remove the knock block. I'm gonna install a half a degree spacer between the crown and the head tube. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a shorter stem on to see if I can get this thing a little higher, a little slacker, and a little shorter. Let's do it. So right now we're about 13 and a half inches to the center of the bottom bracket. And right now, right about 66 degrees on the head tube angle. Now, if you're not familiar, the knock block is a little pin inside here that engages this uh, cat on the headset. And it restricts the movement of the fork so that it doesn't damage the frame. That's all because Trek put in this straight down tube for stiffness. And if they didn't have that knock block, then the fork crown would hit the frame. So this is a 60 millimeter stem, which is a little bit long. So I'm replacing that 60 millimeter stem with this 45 millimeter uh, stem from Fun. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm also gonna replace the uh, spacers uh, with these nice carbon spacers. And the heart of it all is this, which is the reverse components, one half degree uh, angle spacer. It's 10 millimeters thick and it replaces the bottom bearing race of the headset. So I'll, I'll remove the bottom bearing race that's on the fork, replace it with this, and at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and change out uh, all the headset bearings to this uh, FSA set. Now it's time to install that spacer onto the steer tube. So I'm gonna use this two by four supported in my vise so I can have the fork supported just underneath. And now I'm gonna go ahead and install a little bit of grease. I'll slide it down and I'll go ahead and drive it in place. So I don't have the proper tool so what I did was I cut some, a piece of plywood into a donut and the inside diameter is a perfect fit to drive the outer flange. So you can kind of see that. And then I have this piece of uh, two inch PVC tubing, which I will then use to drive the plywood donut onto the fork.
So the bad news is even with this spacer in place, I don't have clearance. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and use this part to allow me to run a shorter stem uh, with still using the knock block. So, oh well, uh, we'll come back and we'll finish this video when I have that part. So here's the part, I finally got it in, and it's basically a 10 millimeter spacer that has the uh, machined notches, if you can see it uh, right there, that engage the knock block top cap. And what we'll do is I'll put this on underneath the stem, I'll set the preload of the headset bearings, and once that's set, I'll snug this down to 3.5 Newton meters, and then snug up the stem, and it should be good to go. So here it is. The head tube angle is now 65 and a half degrees, and the bottom bracket only came up by about an eighth of an inch. But I think that's enough that I can use the minnow link in the low position. The shorter stem moved the bar a little bit closer to the seat, but I adjusted the spacers to keep the stack height about the same. The bike already climbs really well. My goal with all of this was to make it descend and corner better. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're like me and refuse to act your age, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.